our year four. Earlier on this week we looked at plotting coordinates in our grids and today we're going to do something based on the same skill but this time we're going to try to complete a shape by joining the coordinates. For example, if I had the coordinate 3, 2 and 5, 2 and 3, 4 What coordinate would I need to plot to complete a square shape? Well, let's try joining the ones we've got together first. I'm not using a ruler, but I'd like you to. I can't because one of my hands is holding the camera. So I've got two sides of a square. Where do I need to put the final coordinate to make that complete square? Remember, all of a square's sides are equal length. So I've got a 2, a 2, I need a 2, and a 2. And I can finish off the lines to join that square. So I have plotted coordinates to make a square. Now I need to make a note of those coordinates. So my square is what? Remind me what coordinates I've used. What point is this one on? I'm going to look to this x-axis before the y-axis. So it was a 3, 2. And what did we have? Can you tell me? Can you shout it at the screen? Good, heard you that time. 5, 2. What was this one? And we do the x-axis before the y-axis. Shout it loud at the screen. Louder. Yep, we just about can hear San Diego now. Well done. And the final one, what's this last one? Remember we're looking at the x-axis coordinate and the y-axis coordinate. Yeah, I can definitely hear you that time. I think you might be shouting too loud. Make your neighbours cross. Five, four for that one. Well done. So what about if we looked at a different shape? This time I would like us to look at a rectangle. So I'm going to give you three sides of a rectangle. I want you to join the lines that we've got between the marks, decide where the last coordinate needs to be, join the rectangle and then mark the coordinates. So if you're doing this in your own book, you can have a go at that. If you've either got this coordinate grid from the web page or if you've marked your own out in your book. If this video seems a bit strange, by the way, you better look at the one I did earlier this week where I introduce coordinates. If this is the first coordinates video you've looked at this week, have a look around our playlist and you'll see there was one uploaded on Monday. Have a look at that one first. Right. So we can join the coordinate points that we do have, but we are looking to make a rectangle. You know, the properties of a rectangle are two short sides and two long sides. The short sides must be equal and parallel and the long sides must be equal and parallel. So there can only be one choice for our last coordinate and it's there. Now we've got those two equal sides, those two equal sides, they're both parallel, parallel they're both equal to each other. Right, let's plot our points. What's this one please? Remember we look at the x-axis before the y. So what's the coordinates of this point? Can't hear you. That's better. 3, 4. What about this one? Oh, someone's shouting out 4, 7. Is that right? I can hear somebody. Well done. It's not four seven, it's seven four. Seven four. 
What about this one next, please? Hmm, someone's doing it for a joke, aren't they? Someone's shouting out six, seven again. Trying to catch me out. It's not six, seven. It's seven, six. Good. And then the final one. Nice and loud. Well done. So we had a square and we had a rectangle. What about one of our more unusual quadrilaterals? This time it's going to be a parallelogram. Parallelogram. We did these earlier on in the year. A parallelogram has four sides. And the opposite sides are parallel to each other. But it's not like a rectangle because it has two obtuse angles and two acute angles. Mm, interesting. Let me join the lines that I've got. Let's see if that gives you any clues. Okay, I'm not trying to make a triangle, I'm not trying to make a rhombus. I want another line that is parallel with this one and it needs to be the same length as that one. So we've got one, two, three, four squares length. It needs to be parallel to that one. One, two, three, four. Oh, interesting. If it was to go there, would I then have parallel sides here and here? Hmm, I think I would. So this is a tricky one, a parallelogram. Don't worry if you found this one a bit trickier than the others. It would be a good challenge for yourself to try to see if you could create coordinates that do all of the unusual quadrilaterals. You could try a rhombus, you could try a trapezium. Remember how we made up a funny little story about a trapezium it used to be a cheese, a dairy triangle cheese. It got in a trap It chopped its head off, so it wasn't a triangle anymore, it was a trapezium or a trapezium. So you could plot the coordinates that I've done here, here, here and here, and here, here, here and here, and then you could have a go at making up your own shapes and plotting the coordinates. Have fun with that, bye!